everybody. Welcome to Muse TV. We are back and we got a really cool interview today. We got from Wolverine, La Larga Noche, Ivan Bernal. What? Hello, everybody. How did everything come about with this? Because one, one thing, like I heard the English version and now I've heard the Spanish version and they're both very well done, well produced. Thank you. How did you get involved with the, with the whole show? Well, so, you know, working as an actor here in LA for a few years now, you always dream of working on something, uh, you know, of this magnitude, of this scale. I mean, it's Marvel for crying out loud. Yeah. And being a huge Marvel fan myself, you know, I'm all like, wait, because at the beginning of the casting, none of us knew what it was for. It only, you know, the casting notice was, you know, podcast um, requests, self tape audition, 10 pages of script for Carla Hu casting, who I was like, wait, Carla Hu, she's a big name in the casting world for Latinos. I mean, she got Selena, Narcos, uh, you know, all these big shows. I was like, of course, say yes, I confirm. I auditioned for this, whatever she's okay. casting, I wanna be part of it. Okay. So I auditioned, you know, and he, a, a couple of weeks went by and then they just sent back an email like, oh, they wanna know if you're available for the potential recording days. I'm like, yeah, sure. I still don't know nothing that it was marble related and then eventually okay well here's an offer we got a contract i think you booked that you booked the podcast and like, oh, okay cool send it over you know and i'm auditioning doing other things in doing living my life and then eventually i get an email from the the marble production company it says welcome to marvel's podcast wolverine la larga noche and i was like what are you kidding me <laughs> so this is not called aurora this is not just any podcast that they were yeah. casting like yeah. this is marble mm -hmm. and once i heard the name wolverine i screamed because i'm a huge you know x-men and mutants fans so i was like oh my god i'm gonna be part of this <laughs> and then once i started looking into it i was like okay well there's a podcast that was made a few years ago let me look it up and then i was like, oh wait my role is it's kind of like a big role like i'm not just like you know one or two little characters it's like a very condensed uh you know episode nine episodes out of the 10 mm -hmm. i'm like whoa i really need to you know go 120 percent being that it was my first gig with this casting director being that it was for marvel and being that it was you know with celebrity talent attached which later i found out it was joaquin cosio bruno Bichir, and all these people and i was like wow like my mind was like i couldn't sleep that day to be honest with you i was so excited and so happy and i was like man you know because this, this after the pandemic we all been through mm -hmm. a lot of up and downs and as an actor and you know artists we didn't work for a little bit so i was like so excited to be part of something and especially something like marble wolverine like whoa like yes so i was like yes si se puede. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what's funny like I, i'm shocked that you're telling me that it's almost like the movies where you really don't know Exactly. What into until you actually get casted for it that you know. No, and they that. check it out. I wanted to scream it out loud. I would, I wanted to tell my family, <laughs> my friends, everybody back in Texas, my brother in Mexico. I was like, I'm gonna be on a Marvel project, but you can't. Yeah. They send you like, I'm not even kidding, like at least five different NDAs. Mm -hmm. And before you sign them, you gotta, you know, be on a Zoom. Make sure you sign here and don't tell anything about it. Yeah. We're gonna send you one script at a time so that nothing gets out and blah blah blah. I'm like, wow. So yeah. I couldn't really like scream it out like I'm doing now because, you know, I was under so many non-disclosures. So I had to keep it in exactly. secret. Like you have Magneto at your door ready to pull any metal out of your blood. Basically, like, right? Because yeah. if you say anything, they will take I was it about out. To yeah, I get it. I'm about, I'm in Martin, that's Spider-Man. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> exactly. So let's talk about Bobby Reed. Tell me a little bit about the character. So Bobby Reed is a new deputy in the town of Burns in Alaska. He's, you know, just joined the force, if you would. Uh, he's young, you know, he's in his mid twenties, maybe early thirties. He has a history, you know, the, which we'll later find out in the podcast once everybody hears it. Um, so just like Logan Wolverine, the character, he's starting over. So by him joining, you know, the police department is like a new beginning for him as well. And he's very chill, very laid back, a little bit of innocent, but he's also the comedic relief in the in the series so i was very happy to do that because i love comedy i love making people laugh and i'm a dork myself so I'm like oh i'm a little bit of bobby you know <laughs> yeah exactly and that's what i love about the character because well i'm a nerd so. yeah no and then the, the english the version in english the, the actor that did bobby did an amazing job and i was like okay well i don't want to just copy what he did i want to put my own flavor yeah. into it but also you know the bars was very high so i was like okay i need to you know yeah. prepare uh -huh. for this so how is that when you have one, you have an English actor doing the role in English and then you're doing mm -hmm. it in Spanish. I mean, how tempting is it to like not want to take some of that? 
but well, yeah, you kind of want to develop your own feel your to own the thing. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I, I give a lot of credit to our director, Alejandra Lopez. Uh, she's an amazing director, Puerto Rican, and, and she gave us a lot of liberty to add, you know, little hints and flavor to the character as we recorded. She was like, yeah, I know there's a script that's been approved by Marvel and we want to follow that. But if you, you know, by instinct or by impulse, you want to throw in a little laughter, or a little thing here and there. And in Spanish, I mean, our vocabulary is endless. Exactly. So you can throw so many little things, so many little lingos to make it, you know, pop and make it more flavorful. So I was very happy that she allowed me to do that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when we were recording, I had the other actors um, connected via FaceTime on one phone and, and my scripts on a tablet, the engineers, because everything was done remotely mm -hmm. uh, to add to the complexity of this project. Uh, the director was in Puerto Rico, the engineers were some in LA, some people in New York, like the Marvel people were in Chicago, I believe. So it was an interesting process, but I loved every single thing about it. Like my script was like this much. I printed every every episode and I had my notes and then she would give me notes and okay, let me do that again. And so the whole process, it just was a dream come true for me, to be honest with you. Oh uh, yeah, I, I bet. And this is the one thing that's really cool. Like Sirius XM is probably the only place that I know of that would actually do something like this because since yeah. XM and day one, when they used to have their old radio, well, they still have it, the radio station where they used to have the right. radio serials on air, which something yeah. that no other radio station would do in public, mm -hmm. public airwaves, but Sirius and XM did it. So it fits perfectly into their format and what they've done over the years. And this was like one of the first that Marvel had produced yeah. And now they have a lot more coming out oh, in yeah. the future. And that's and how does it feel like to be a part of that where you were one you're part one of the first ones that they're doing, especially in Spanish, because I heard they're gonna exactly. do more in yeah. Spanish as well. Um, how does it feel to be a part of that? It feels amazing, man. To be honest with you, I feel so proud to be Latino, to be Mexican, especially, you know, and working on a project with such a big scale and production value, because many people don't know this, especially when I started sharing with my friends, they were like, well, what is a podcast? Like, what is it? Like, is it just people reading? Like, like no, not at all. It's not an audio book. It's very well done. Like, if you close your eyes, you can really visualize it because it has all the elements, you know, the music, the sound effects, the, the steps. All the blaze, obviously, from Wolverine, the, the gunshots, everything that if you really close your eyes, you're like, whoa, I'm really like, it's very immersed. I'm in this world and I'm, I'm imagining every single little thing. So the process was a little bit harder on that sense because it's, we're not just reading lines. You have to really perform and make believe everything that you're saying with just your voice, with yeah. your intonation, how you, how you say the lines and whatnot, how you pause, how you breathe. So the whole process to me was amazing and to be part of something like this uh, you know like I said being Latino especially that they released it on Hispanic Heritage Month mm -hmm. I was like yes that's perfect yeah so thank and you Marvel for believing in us Latinos and hopefully there's more to come you know exactly because that's the one thing we definitely need to see is more Latinos especially in the MCU on the big screen yes, man, we're gonna be represented <laughs> exactly because we may we make up a big part of the chunk of who goes to the movies so we got to see ourselves on screen exactly yeah. Exactly. And, and that's the one thing, like, a couple more questions left. And that's mm -hmm. like when you're mentioning about podcasts, people yes. think podcasts are just people talking like a talk show. And yes. it's like, no, it's radio. It's something different. And you could do yeah. a lot of things. There's a lot There's of different more to it. it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel the podcasting space has changed and especially helped uh, actors like yourself? Well, I think it opened the door for, you know, especially for actors like me, because now there's way more platforms. There's more opportunities to act, you know, remotely with just your voice as to before, you know, you only could go to auditions for like maybe TV and film. And now there's a lot more opportunities to do podcasts. There's a lot of scripted podcasts that are coming out, not just in Spanish, but, you know, in English or in Spanglish as well that I've seen. I recently worked on a Spanglish audiobook. I guess still cannot disclose what it is, but it's coming out probably next year. Yeah. But uh, they were very specific. Like we want um, English, but with a Mexican accent. I'm like, oh, okay, I can do that. Because I naturally speak with a slight accent, I think. <laughs> oh, even though, you know, I'm proud to speak my language. I love, I mean, I'm Mexican, so I love my Spanish. But uh, I, I think the podcast world is growing and they're seeing, you know what? There's an audience out there and there's a Latino audience for it. So let's, let's feed up to this. And for us, you know, actors that want to work and we want to, uh, use this platform to be creative and share our art form uh, with just the boys. I'm like, perfect. I'm all, I'm all for it, especially after working on Wolverine. 
Oh, uh, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> it, it's like, it's a good thing to work on. <laughs> yes, man, exactly. I'm so thankful. Uh, like, yes, keep it coming. <laughs> yep, exactly. And finally, what can you tell the Muse audience and how could they find the podcast? Because this is something you really have to listen, not only just yeah. in English, I think you have to listen to it in Spanish as well. If oh, you definitely. In Spanish, because it's I two feel, different I mean, things. You know, no offense to the English cast, but I feel like the Spanish, we put more flavor, <laughs> more sazón to it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, le ponemos más, like, yeah, like, ah. Yeah, so definitely. I'm very proud of everything. And of course, everybody can listen right now. They just released episode seven yesterday. So I'm excited after this interview to go and listen to it. Because, you know, I, I even though I recorded it, I want to listen to find a product with the music and the sound effects and hear my voice as the character and see, oh, what tech did they use? You know, like, oh, they went for that one. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, everybody can listen on SX Radio and uh, all the basically podcast platforms right now is out in Pandora as well. So basically, if you just Google uh, Wolverine La Larga Noche podcast, you would have access to everywhere they can possibly on your phone to find it. So easy. Awesome. Awesome. Ivan, thank you so much. Really appreciate appreciate you coming on Muse TV to talk about it because, like I say, this is this was so well done. Really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to episode seven, and yes. eight, and nine, and ten. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, it thing. gets better. It gets better after every every episode. It's like people talk about you know this this one show on Netflix. How like, oh I want to watch another one. Like well no wait to hear this podcast. You're gonna be hooked. You're like oh man I gotta wait till next week. That's, it's, it's and really, that's and that's the best thing is the anticipation of what's coming up exactly. and that's what and I you, like about you know mm -hmm. you think you know what's going to happen or who's the the one doing all these murders and whatnot and they're like oh wait a minute oh okay twist exactly you know, years, but just you know putting it out there exactly ivan thank you so much for being a part of muse tv thank you Michael. and you'll be able to find more information if you look at the description below but thank you so much for being a part of this and we'll see you next time here on Muse TV. Thank you. Have a good one.